What's up, peeps? Today I'm cooking wild caught Pacific whiting fillets. So whitey fish, that's what I'm cooking. All right, this is, um, they're frozen and they're in individual packs. So I have let them thaw for 20 minutes in water. So I'll be taking them out the packs and I also have shrimp that I am thawing. Hold on one second, I'm gonna show you the shrimp bag. All right, I have these extra large peeled the vein tail on shrimp. I'm gonna recheck them. I got them in water now, cold water. Do not put them in hot water, cold water, because hot water will cook them. So I got them in cold water right now. I'm gonna check to make sure they're really deveined. And I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna fry them real quick. All right, I've taken the fish out of the packs. Now I'm ready to rinse them off with cold water. All right, I just rinsed them off. Now I'm ready to dry them off with a paper towel. All right, y'all, I have already dried them off. Now it's time to season them. I use Slap Your Mama, and that's the only seasoning I use. I just use Slap Your Mama. That's it. So let me put some Slap Your Mama on them. Slap Your Mama. Don't slap your mama. Do not. Yeah, I got some slappy mama on it. Let me flip it over. Daddy, I want macaroni. He's fixing you some macaroni. So, yeah, I'm flipping them over, y'all. Okay, you're going to get it. He's in the middle of fixing it as you speak. Okay, I'm putting some more slappy mama on the other side. Y'all, this seasoning is off the chain. I love you. I love to slap your mama. All right. Now let me get my seafood breader. Okay, this is the seafood breader I use for my seafood. House of Altry. Well, House Altry. My bad. That's what I use. Okay, I'm about to bread the shrimp. Not shrimp. <laughs> bread the um, whitey fish. We do have shrimp also. They are waiting on me to bread, bread them. I'm trying to do as much to my um, fish and shrimp to have them ready for when the pot gets hot. I'm not turning the pot on or anything while my back is, back is turned. I'm not doing that because that's the easiest way to burn up your stuff. So I'm going to wait until all my seafood is ready for me to put in the pot. See, this is different. I'm using the pot on the stove. I'm not using the fry daddy. If I had my fry daddy, I would easily have it heating up right now because I know it's not going to burn up. But when you're cooking it on, on a pot on the stove, that's a different ball game. And whenever you finish cooking it, you hurry up and take that pot off that stove. Do not let it just sit there because the only thing it's going to do is keep cooking and cooking and it's going to be burning up stuff, like burning up the crumbs. And that's when you see a people who have a whole lot of smoke everywhere. And that's because the grease is still cooking and it's just burning and burning. So, yeah, as soon as you finish cooking it, frying your stuff, you turn it off immediately. Okay, I'm just going to bread them and stick them to the side. Spread them and stick them to the side. I'm going to do the same thing to the shrimp, so I'll show you. Just give me a few seconds. That's AJ. He tripping me out. But yeah, yeah, I love me some whitey fish. Ain't nothing like some good old whitey. Whiting fish. I don't know why I say whitey fish. Whiting fish. Whitening. However, I think it's whitening fish. Yeah, I know. Everybody got their own way they cook fish. They got their own thing they do that makes their fish superb. I know. I'm just showing you what I do. Trying to show you a quick and easy way that I do it. Just in case you just want to know something else. I'm not trying to tell you this is what you should do. I'm just trying to show you what I do and how easy it is for me. 
My family loves it. So I guess it's, I'm doing something right with it. Sticking these to the side, sticking them to the side. AJ is being so loud, you guys. AJ's been so loud. I don't understand him right now. All right, let me get these shrimp. When I say I check them to make sure they divine, this is what I was meaning. The back is the vein, but this part right here sometimes have veins still in it. So I went through each and every one of these shrimp and uh, cut that out of there. So that's what I mean when I say I check my shrimp. You don't have to now because, I mean, some people don't care. You don't have to, but that's what I do. Okay, I'm about to throw this slap your mama. Well, I ain't going to throw it, but I'm going to sprinkle this slap your mama. On the shrimp, do the same thing as I did to the fish. Bread it and get it ready. Let me flip them over. Yep, I'm flipping them over. Where my rag is. So okay, I have to wash my hand off. All right, I'm about to bread these shrimp. This is a little bit different from the fish. I can just. Bread these things. All right, I'm a, when I finish breading this, I'm going to go on and put my um, grease on medium heat. I'm not putting it on high. I'm putting it on medium heat. I'm going to have to post some more stuff. All right, I got my shrimp and my fish seasoned up and battered up. Now it's time for me to turn on the stove. I'm going to put it on medium and then let the oil get hotter and hotter and until it's ready. But I'm not going to put it on high. So do not put it on high. <laughs> you don't want to burn your stuff up. Okay, this is my oil in my pot. I'm going to put it on six. So that's above medium. That's above medium. I'm going to put it on six and then gradually... Um, as it heats up, I may put it on eight, but I'm going to see as it heats up. All right, the grease is getting there. You hear that popping? That means it's getting ready. All right, I'm about to do the water test. I got a little water on my hand. All right, it's ready. I'm gonna give it about another minute and then I'm gonna start cooking with it. Like I said, I don't have it on high. I have it on six.
All right, we're gonna wait till all the cloudiness clear up and they're gonna pretty much float to the top. All right, while I'm waiting on that to fry, I went on ahead and got my paper towel and my plate ready for my tongs to take it out. As Soon as I take it out, I will put the shrimp in. It's gonna have to be really, really quick. Cause like I said, if you just let it sit and sit, it's gonna keep cooking. Even if you turn the aisle off, it's gonna keep on cooking and then it's gonna have your whole house smoked up. So you have to move quick when it comes to frying fish and shrimp. So as soon as you finish, you take it out the heat immediately and move it to another aisle. Remember I told y'all they was gonna start floating? Well, they starting to float. When they turn brown, I'll take them out. But right now they starting to float. I'm gonna go ahead on and move them around a little bit. gonna be good. All right, y'all, they look like they about ready. Let me pick up one. Yeah, that thing ready. It's ready. This with a paper towel full of, um, well, this is where the plate full of paper towel will come into play. So you don't want all that grease. You don't want to eat all that grease. Now we're gonna have to hurry to put the shrimp in, okay? We have to be in a hurry. Because if we don't, the crumbs that fell at the bottom of this are gonna cook and cook and cook. Shrimp, the shrimp ain't gonna take but a, you ready for it, ain't you, boo? Mm. You ready for it? I see. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the shrimp, they ain't gonna take but like two minutes. They really just need to get um, brown. That's it. You say it's about to go down. <laughs> trying to put them in that fast. Do it fast. Can't play with it. All right, y'all, that's the shrimp. Again, y'all, I haven't changed the temperature. It's just a little bit above medium. It's on six. I have not changed that temperature. All right, I'm gonna wait till they float to the top. All right, it looks like the shrimps is about done. Let's check them out. Yeah, they about done. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, they done. 
them on the paper towel. into the very very important part which like I was saying you turn this grease off and you get this pot off of this aisle or these crumbs is gonna start burning and have your whole kitchen smoked up it's gonna be awful I'm trying to tell you I know okay push that off of there turn the aisle off Can I get a shrimp? Can I get a fish? All right, here got my fries that was in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Looking all good. All right, this is the end result. We ready to eat now, y'all. We ready to eat.